What's up, Starlight Aquatics? This is Danny. Check it out. Did a little bit of a change, guys. I had no luck with them having babies successfully. After, like, uh, the third or fourth try, they would have... Uh, they would have their eggs up on this side of the glass and then what they would do is they would chase everything off and uh literally if they came even as far as like here like that little guy right here would be like poof, like chase them off so <clears throat> another thing um but besides uh They'll lay them on, like I said, this wall. They'd lay them on the heater at the top. They'd lay them over here on the, oops, right here on the intake tube for the uh, the canister filter down below. And, uh, you know, I was thinking to myself, well, maybe I need to put something in there. So next time that they, uh, they try to breed, I'm going to probably get one of those little... Uh, traffic cone looking thingies or something to put like over here in this corner or maybe up here in the front you know front front corner <clears throat> i also uh besides the fish the fish are looking great um uh if you remember uh the uh i call him blackie uh it's one of my favorite uh very beautiful fish and uh very friendly what's up buddy and then uh he's gotten a lot bigger i mean he was itty bitty he was a small guy and then uh we also have over here the uh the beloved what you doing but uh what was that the uh it's a koi angel and uh, another koi angel here and uh, got the rest of the guys up here oh it was uh, it was this one and this one at one point in time and it was this one with this one at another time or no I'm sorry it was this one and this one at another time so it's been I think three unsuccessful runs and I read and read and read and stuff and like my water parameters are perfect as you see you know the tank the tanks just you know as good as it's gonna get you know if I add something you know for the fish but uh, I gotta I gotta get something to uh, successfully let them take and and lay their eggs on it and it also be uh, a lot off my shoulders because I worry about them getting sucked into the filtrations and I have big filtration on this thing uh, I even have you know hell I even have the uh, <laughs> blowing full speed you know I mean you you have power heads blowing you know these things going that's just a secondary with a little bit of bio media up in that uh, I'm still running my, I'm still running my, oh, I ain't got no lights, but, uh, still running my canister, and, uh, there's just some other stuff and a bunch of their foods and whatnot, but, uh, yeah, other than that, guys, uh, you know, like I said, take care of your fishy friends and, uh, make sure the water parameters are perfect, and, uh, also, I know, um, some of you have been having a problem in uh, writing me about the Eheim. Um, the Eheim. Let me see if I can get a shot of this. Okay. Okay. Well, maybe not from the top, but okay, I can do it this way. Okay. Now, the top of my Eheim is a little dirty. Okay. So. See that little horseshoe thingy right there? At the, whoops, let me focus. Right above, right there, it kind of goes like, kind of like the shape of your finger. Okay, now you have the 
little oh where the hell is my finger there it is sorry about that okay so what you want to do is you want to make sure that that little <clears throat> red arrow is like dead nuts in the center of that U okay because when you turn it around to the back side right and you match up those those two dots right that's what zeroes it in but what makes it go to temp is that it's in the middle of that okay and that's zeroed in and then once you had you know the dot in the back and the with the uh with the line you know then you'll turn it back around like you're looking at it now a front view of it you know the back you line up the two dots you turn it around and then you adjust your blue up or down to where you think it would be uh mine is actually it is strange it's uh I'm going to get in there for you guys. Hold on. My hands are clean anyway, so let me see if I can't. What do I have mine set to? Um... about do, 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 do. Hold on. like 77 or something like that but it's like uh now you're gonna have to go back and forth and play around with this because as you said, you could set it, for instance, you could set it at 70, right? And it's either going to read 74 to 78. Like, it has a huge swing for some reason. But, however, once you get it to, you know, you might turn it back and it might say like 68 on there, a little bit low. But as long as you have something like this to back you up, to know exactly what the temperature is on that. Don't even worry about Use those numbers as reference. Not the actual temperature. You know what I mean? Because if, if you set it at like 80 something. This tank would be probably damn near like 90 degrees. I mean, I don't know. Like these things work a little too well. But like you have to reference the one number. But zero it in. Which again. You just have the horseshoe in the front. And you lock, you put that 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 arrow right in the middle, which will put your red dot back there, okay? And that'll calibrate it. You want to spin your blue dial until that lines up with the back side, with that you know that little uh, what is it a white line and a red dot. The what the red dot will be the back side of that that. Uh, Of uh, that arrow right there and the back side of the blue I believe it's a white line so red dot to white line flip it back around till you're at the front of it right now see I was in there for a couple seconds now it's gonna turn on and and pull it back up uh, I was doing a little bit of stuff uh, it's 81 degrees exactly in there but uh <clears throat> it it has like a, a tendency to swing to uh to 81.8 you know but other than that like i'm completely cool with that so grab yourself a um uh you know it, all it is is it goes into the tank let me get a shot of it uh see right there it's like a suction cup has a little thing goes in and then it goes up, and then you run it 
out, and then I run it along like uh, like my glass. I'll set it in here, and then you know, suction cup it right there to the front of the glass. And then you know you can play with it a lot more and have more confidence. Trust me, uh, when you're using the uh, the digis to back you up, because I mean. You want you want to be like precise with this stuff. Let me get another long shot since I'm going to be talking to you guys. I'm sorry. I know it's a lot of information, but guys, you know I I, I seriously stand by what I said when I said, uh, you know, if, if you uh, need help, I'm I'm going to, you know, to my best knowledge and ability, be, try to help you out. So uh, definitely uh, keep uh, hitting that like. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already and uh we're gonna keep trying to breed these guys i mean here's the here's the hoping but uh you know starlight aquatics oh uh one more thing i uh i threw some rock down here i got some cheap uh rock i washed it and uh threw it in as a little bit of a i, I like it because it it hits it shines down and it kind of illuminates the tank a little bit more i mean these lights are pretty bright but i mean it just uh lightens it up a little bit you know i think it was all dark it was it, it needed a little bit more shade with uh with a little bit of brightness you know so that kind of did the trick you know lightened it up in there a lot uh gonna try to go a whole different route uh, I do still have uh, one guy that I forgot to, to tell you about was the, and I finally got a good shot of him. That is my Cory Cat. So, you get to see my Cory Cat. He's a big old fatty too. Healthy, healthy. Really cool. And uh, another thing about the rock is, is I think it, I think it made that Cory Cat happy because, uh, you know, I think he likes to swim and, like, rub his little belly across it because, you know, those guys spend, like, all their time on the on the bottom. So they're just down there chilling in some dark little cave or something that you make. But uh, anyway, keep those, uh, keep those questions coming. And, uh, hey, thanks for coming and hanging out with me. Uh, you know, I'm Danny from Starlight Aquatics. Please like and subscribe. If you haven't, uh, tell your friends. If, uh, if they're into aquatics and they got questions or anything, you know, subscribing to me is like having a friend that you can call anytime if you're ever having a problem. So hit that like, uh, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Stay fresh, stay fishy, my friends. Bye.